Hello, hello. My name's Ethan. Make sure to check out my website, ethanren.com, for you can find links to all my various socials. We are currently live on YouTube, Twitch, and the front page of my website. If you'd like to be notified when we go live next, you could be here, potentially ask questions, recommend symbols that, that I cover. Make sure to follow or subscribe on the respective platforms, and you will get that notification. Again, when you chat, your chat will come up on screen. When you follow, I'll, I'll know. So without further ado, what is the next symbol we're going to be covering? You guys might already know. Symbol I-Z-R-L. This is the ARC Israel Innovation Technology ETF. Now, probably wondering, what are some of the things I like about I-Z-R-L? Well, we actually have a quite long history with symbol I-Z-R-L. If you go to my YouTube channel, there's actually going to be a That Time We Shorted series, which shows... Uh, the last time we covered this was actually August 2021, and the price of the symbol at that time was... $29.19 and we were projecting a bearish move following this price channel and guess what that is exactly what happened here it is now trading at a price point of $17.22 again this represents a basket of assets from Israel ETFs provide a great way to mitigate risk let's say you have two potential investment opportunities in front of you. You can invest in a singular company or you can invest in a diverse portfolio of assets from a singular country. Let's use the United States, for example. If you were to invest in the portfolio that consists of a variety of assets from the United States, you'd be reducing your risk by as much as 75% relative to just holding a singular stock. Now, if you have an internationally diverse portfolio, so you still have all those United States assets, but you're also adding maybe some Israel assets, maybe you're adding some Asian assets, maybe you're adding some European assets, you now have an internationally diverse portfolio, you now reduce your risk by as much as 85% relative to holding that singular company. So it's important to maybe consider ways that you can div diversify your portfolio across not just the United States, but also overseas, which means you need to be doing technical analysis across a variety of foreign countries at all times. Now, if I was just looking at symbol IZRL, this may not be the most compelling symbol on the surface, but it's once you look at a variety of Israel-related assets, indices, major market indexes, things like that, that you start to see a pattern that a lot of Israel assets are currently oversold and potentially offering great entries that can be held for at least one to two years moving forward. The same way this exact symbol was potentially offering a great short that you were able to hold on to for one to two years, right? Again, we identified the bearish flag that was being painted here in the ARC Israel Innovative Technology. Wait, let me... We identified the flag, again, descending resistance, flat support, which is an objectively bearish biased flag, and it broke out of that flag to the bottom side, and you could have seek to have gained as much as 40% on a short that we were recommending a year and a half ago, just by shorting it and holding it. You wouldn't have had to babysit it every day, trying to scalp pennies, doing all this weird stuff. No, you could have shorted that, slept in, and here you are today, a year and a half. You're getting rid of those short positions. You're scrapping those shorts on Israel and potentially even buying shares of these Israel-related assets to be moving forward into the future to potentially not e e even more, right? So... On my YouTube channel, again, make sure to watch the That Time We Shorted series to gain a little bit of hindsight um, about our history with this symbol. But I also recommend you look into another video on our YouTube channel, which will be for symbol EIS. EIS is another US-based derivative that will offer you ac access to a variety of Israel-based companies, and they kind of go in tandem. You could think of EIS as maybe a value variant, and you could think of IZRL as maybe a growth variant of an ETF that represents Israel. This one does not offer a dividend, while EIS does offer a pretty nice dividend of roughly like 1.7%, but what this one offers is potentially more growth, right? So you're potentially seek to gain more money by investing in IZRL P 
purely based on its projected growth and previous ranges that it has ran. Something that you see me, let's move into the technicals a little bit. Something that you see me cover here on every video we make here on this channel would be the RSI. As you can see, I'm currently looking at the weekly time frame. If you come up here, we have the symbol and then we have this W. This W means every candle on this chart represents one week of time. That makes this the weekly RSI. And as you can see, the RSI is relatively oversold and it's been oversold for maybe four or five months now. It's kind of unusual for this symbol to remain as low as it has been for the past few months, so, which makes means it has to be primed for a bounce here soon, right? Uh, we'll get more into that. But just looking at the RSI, just looking at the RSI, let me quickly mark through, go through and mark every time that the RSI has been as low as it is currently. As you can see here, March 23rd of 2020, the RSI touched down at that 30, and then this symbol proceeded to run as much as 169%. That's a huge, huge range. Again, this is an ETF. This is not a company, right? So to see that in an ETF is just absolutely massive. And that's what, what, what I was kind of alluding to earlier with this being maybe a more growth, more technology type ETF compared to something like EIS. Prior to that, we had December 24th, 2018, RSI touched down at the 30, and then the symbol proceeded to run as much as 40%. So where are we projecting the symbol to go moving forward? Well, currently, just based from its current price of roughly $17.20 up to its previous all-time high, that would be a potential gain of 130%, which is huge. That is absolutely huge, guys. If if you can even just get a piece of that. And again, what's great about IZRL is this uh, is just one way that you can diversify your portfolio internationally, right? Into a country that you may not currently have exposure to. And it again, that can be a great way to help diver diversify your risk. Um, relative to having a portfolio that consists of maybe just a singular country. Even if the price goes from its current 1720 up to its current weekly 180 moving average, that is still a gain of 43%. 43%. Nothing to scoff at. And lastly, you're probably wondering, what, what does symbol IZRL's holdings consist of? Well... I pulled up IZRL here on Yahoo Finance. You scroll to the bottom, and you can see. Here are the top eight holdings of IZRL, which represents roughly 23.8% of the total assets. And we have Purion Network. Pardon me if I mispronounce any of these Israeli companies. There's Celebrite DI. There's Mobile Eye Global Inc. Ordinary Shares. There's Stratasys. There's Wix.com. I'm sure you've all heard of Wix.com. Again, this is a more tech innovative technology-based ETF brought to you by the famous Kathy Woods, right? And Wix.com is basically very comparable to like uh, WordPress or very comparable to maybe Shopify. I'm not sure if you're familiar, but online shopping on online retail, people's ability to buy things online is the second fastest growing industry here in the United States. So companies like Wix seem to have be poised to benefit from that uh, rapid growth in that select industry, right? Under that, you have CyberArk Software. Under that, you have Playtika Holdings, Corp Ordinary Shares. And then lastly, you have Nova LTD. So those are some of the holdings you could expect to get from symbol IZRL. And with all that being said... I think that's everything we want to say about symbol IZRL for today. Again, I see a lot of potential coming out of Israel moving forward. Let me just show you guys before I move on to the next one. If you're someone looking to invest in Israel, what is Israel's major market indice that you might want to be looking at in order to gauge is this a good time to be investing in Israel? Well, the main 
thing you would want to be looking at is the Tel Aviv 125. This is 125 different companies based in Israel. And this helps you get a good gauge on where Israel as a country is going moving forward. And as you can see, it has this uptrending price channel. It tends to use the weekly 180 moving average as support. And it is this that allowed us to identify Israel's potentially great entry opportunity. And you know, some people might not have access to invest directly into Israel-based indices and companies. Look, it is not denominated in U.S. dollars. This is denominated in Israel's currency. So the next best thing for you guys is to be looking at these Israel ETFs that we are currently covering, such as EIS or IZRL or maybe even IT. EQ, which we're going to be covering next. If you're interested in either of those, we're going to have highlights available on my YouTube channel, so make sure to check those out. I just wanted to sh give you guys a very encompassing video that would tell you everything you need to know to be potentially placing investments in Israel. That's everything. We're going to move into our next symbol now.